Hey, and welcome to this month's edition of InDesign Newsletter, where you learn tips and tricks and fun things that you can do inside of InDesign. Who am I, you say? I am Andrea Baslassen. I'm an Adobe Community Professional. I'm also a graphic and web design instructor. So now that you know who I am, let's get started. All right. All right. So Adobe Max, oh my gosh, was amazing. I know, oh, if you did not have a chance to go, it is definitely one of those things that you need to experience and go because it's indescribable. The experience is just like, the, oh my gosh, like the, the biggest, most creative event you can go to. Like, I mean, they really go all out with, um, with just the, like the, oh my gosh, even the things like the, they have, bean bags outside everywhere, you know, for you to sit and chill. Um, there's like chocolate, I don't know. There's just so much stuff, guys. If you have not, if you have a chance to go, you should really go. All right, well, speaking of Max, that is what has inspired uh, this month's newsletter. So um, one of the features that was, um, that was shown is an enhanced, cut and paste um, by, um, and it's, and I'm like, wow, right? I was absolutely wild by it. So those of you who've been using InDesign and Illustrator for a while, you know that you can go back and forth with cutting and pasting logos, but when it comes to text, it is a monster to go back and forth. And it always has been because your styling and your formatting does not uh, go did not go over well. Well, that has changed and that has been updated and that is amazing. So we're going to talk about that enhanced uh, cut and paste feature. So we're going to talk about that like right now. All right. So here I just have some text. I'm in InDesign and I have some text inside of here um, and it just says hello. So a few things that I did to this text is I added, um, I changed the glyph. So I changed some of the letters. So it was the straight L that you see, and I made it a looping L. Um, the O didn't have the little um, serif on the edge, um, but it does now. Um, I think I changed, I changed all the letters, but all the letters that I could. So those are the things I did to it. So I'm gonna copy this by hitting Command C, and I'm going to paste it into Illustrator, just for kicks and giggles. And you'll see that it came in, you know, um, it came in in the regular version. So it didn't come in with the glyphs, okay? So I do want um, to make you aware of that, that that's not um, coming in, but that's okay. So I'm gonna delete it. Here's what, something else that you need to do too. So in order for these styles to come in, now you're gonna see that mine are already set, but there are a few things to make this work. You need to make sure that you have the latest version of Illustrator and InDesign, because like I said, this was announced at Max, so it is a new feature of the newest version. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have the newest features, um, the newest versions of these. And then the other thing is, I'm gonna go into InDesign and we're gonna go and change the preferences. Now, if you're on a PC, it is under Edit Preferences. I am on a Mac. So on Mac, all we have to do is go under the name of the program that we're in. In this case, it's InDesign. So I'm going to click on InDesign and I'm going to go to Preferences. And I just click General all the time, no matter what it is I'm changing. But you can see in Preferences, you do have options to um, go directly in. What we're going to do is clipboard handling, but I'm going to go to General just to show you that it's there. And when you click General, you get the same menu anyway. So it's already there. But it takes out one step if you just click it from the menu, but I'm a rebel. So um, I'm gonna click on clipboard handling and what you're looking for inside of here. So the clipboard is anytime you copy something, no matter what program you're in, it goes in your clipboard. That's what it's called. It's just in the space, sort of like a clipboard. So it goes in a clipboard and then you paste it from the clipboard. So that's why clipboard handling. And then what we're looking for is this right here. Right now, if you're looking at yours, yours probably says text only. We don't want that. You wanna make sure that all information, which says index markers, swatches, styles, et cetera, 
this is what's going to bring, this is what's going to allow those styles to come from document to document, okay? So making sure that that's set, hit OK. And then, um, and then it'll take care of the rest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to make this flyer. Um, I have some text from Illustrator that I did some styling on and some images that I want to bring into here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this text. Notice this styling. There's everything in here. It has color. It has, um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, it has color. It has um, a subscript and superscript. It has um, uh, small caps. It has strike through. Um, it has all caps. So, you know, pretty much uh, the styles um, are here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm sorry, hit Command C to copy. And then I'm going to go into InDesign. I'm going to hit Command V to paste it. So all the styling came in, but let me show you what happens. Um, it brings it in a box that is pretty much smaller than what you wanted. And all you have to do is grab that box by the edge and um, extend it. If you don't want to extend the box, another way to bring this in, so I'm going to uh, cut, I just deleted that, is you can drag and drop. And when if I drag it and I wait for the program, so when you're dragging and dropping, don't just drag and drop, kind of drag it, wait for that program to open. So you're dragging it over the program, you wait for it to open, and then you can drop it inside and it'll come in with the box the same um, way. So either way works, they're both gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna hit W so that I can see my um, margins. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see my margins and I see that this is exactly where I want it, right? So just wanted to drop on and say, hi, it's a strike through, I mean, hello. So this is looking like I want it to look, yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go grab this um, cluster of graphics. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm going to just paste it in. So this is the copy and paste method. And you see that it pastes in, it pastes in fine. Or I can, again, drag it. So I'm grabbing it. So all I did was click my mouse, right? I clicked it and I'm dragging it and I'm hovering over InDesign. Once InDesign opens and it's active or is in the front, then I can paste it in and I'm sorry, then I can drop it in and it, and it drops just the same. So I know that I'm going to position this. I kind of want this in the margin and I want it over the hello a little bit and I want everything to be in the margin. Now, the software, I'm okay with coming out of the margin just a little bit, but that's how I want it. So if I hit W, I'm looking, and this is my flyer. This is the flyer that I wanted to create. This is exactly how I wanted to create it. All is happy, right? Well, so we know that it copies very well inside of, from Illustrator into InDesign. But what if we wanted to go from InDesign to Illustrator with all of this? Well, let's try that. So I'm just going to grab it all. I'm going to copy it. See, I got everything, including the hello. Now, we already know about the glyphs with it, so I'm not worried about that. Now I'm going to go into this blank document that I happen to have open already over here. And now I'm going to paste it in. And let's just see. Yeah, da, 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 da. Some text been outlined. Okay. And the text that it's talking about is the hello. It outlined my hello, but that's okay. All right, and that's just because it has some features. Remember I was messing with the glyphs. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and look at that. That is what I wanted. Might wanna center it up a little bit. I'm not center it, but you know, horizontally center it just a little bit. Okay, and let me look at vertical. Looks good. There we go. So now I have a up oh, look and it kept my glyphs. You see that? So it had to outline the text in order to keep the glyphs for this one. But that's okay. Um, check that out. It just means I won't be able to edit this because it outlined um, the hello, but that's okay. Um, all of these, you know, I can. I can still select the text and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So that really is pretty much it. That is how you use the new enhanced copy and paste features in InDesign. It is so amazing. It is awesome that this exists. 
Um, and I'm pretty excited. I, I really am. I'm probably more excited than I should be, but that's just me. I get excited about these little things. Um, and design makes me happy. Uh, Illustrator makes me happy. Photoshop makes me happy. All of them makes me happy. And then when they're working together and they're one happy family, oh my gosh, I get so happy. So, all right. Um, that is pretty much what I wanted to go over with you today. Let me go ahead and put in my outro. If you like the video, please, please uh, give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you like the content on this channel. Um, and comment. Comments are good. So comment and uh, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, what you wish would change, you know, what you want to see in the future. That would be cool. Like if you want to see certain videos and things like that, let me know. Oh my goodness. I love making content. I especially love making content for you. So again, I am Andrea Vasilazin. You already know who I am, but if you want to get in touch with me, um, here's my Instagram, my Behance, and of course you're right here on my YouTube channel. Um, so that's what I want to go over with you next month. I mean, this, sorry, that's what I want to go over with you this month. Um, next month, we'll have some more content, possibly some more uh, features that are new inside of InDesign. Um, so I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.